Welcome. I've created a series of open channel flow animations that I'd like to share with you. This animation shows a channel constriction and what happens if a constriction is severe enough to create a choke. Before we start the animation, let's go over the different subscreens on the overall animation screen. Okay, here at the top is an aerial view of the, of the channel and it's here in the center of the channel that we'll see a uh, constriction start to develop with time. Flow enters from the left and exits from the right. In this middle plot, we see a side view of the channel, so you're looking at the depth of flow, and as the constriction develops, we'll see that the depth of flow will actually decrease um, here in the center uh, constriction. In the bottom of the uh, figure, we see a pair of energy depth diagrams or EY diagrams. The lower left shows a full EY diagram with the entire EY relationship and there will be a second one that appears that corresponds to the EY relationship in the constriction once the animation starts. The uh, other plot over here on the right is the enlarged boxed area that's shown in the left and it helps us to emphasize what's going on as the constriction engages. Let's set this in motion. So um, you can see that as the animation begins, a constriction starts to form here uh, in the channel. And corresponding to that constriction, we see that the depth of flow uh, diminishes in the channel. I've paused it. Um, and now you can see there are clearly two EY diagrams. The red EY diagram corresponds to flow in the constriction, and it's a little difficult to see, but there's a small vertical element here that is emphasized better um, in this right diagram. This is basically the transition that the flow undergoes as it enters the constriction as it shifts from the blue EY diagram to the red EY diagram. And since energy is being conserved, the shift is just simply vertical. And you can see that for the same energy, a smaller depth appears on the red EY diagram than on the blue. Therefore, the depth of flow actually diminishes um, in the constriction. Let's set this further into motion. And okay, there, something quite interesting has happened. Now the constriction has grown severe enough that the flow in the center of the channel, in the center of the constriction, is now um, at critical conditions, which is to say that the, uh, the flow has now reached this minimum energy point on the EY diagram. And um, downstream, we see these dashed lines corresponding to super and subcritical flow they are the alternate pairs, the subcritical alternate, the supercritical alternate. As it leaves the, the constriction, both, um, both branches are possible. And we'll say a few more words about that in a moment. Um, but you can see, uh, if you come over here to the uh, enlarged graph, you can see that the actual condition now corresponds to a slightly greater depth slightly greater energy than we started at initially. And um, in essence, as the constriction gets smaller, um, the, the choke is, is uh, requiring that the flow back up upstream of the constriction and that uh, more energy be gathered in order to satisfy continuity through the constriction. Let's l let this play through to the end. And there we are, we've reached the end. And you can see that now um, the change in, in depth and the change in energy is much more obvious. Um, this constriction goes beyond just the minimum to force us to critical, and in fact has pushed the, the energy from an initial energy of around three feet to maybe something more like three and a half feet. Um, a final point is that uh, Oftentimes, uh, people will ask, well, which, which, uh, which solution is the one that the flow chooses? Does it choose this deep supercritical, uh, sorry, this deep subcritical flow or this shallow supercritical flow? 
And to this, my answer has always been, it depends on which way the wind is blowing. Uh, this is a figurative wind, not a real wind. Uh, the question is, is, is the wind blowing uh, in favor of supercritical or subcritical conditions downstream? Um, whichever one of those conditions is favored, that is what uh, the flow will choose coming out of the constriction. Um, and so with that, uh, I thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Also, you can click the link in the description to watch the other videos explaining concepts from my book. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.